Welcome to the first video of Chapter 4, which is Section 4.1, Apply Triangle Sum Properties. We have three different obje objectives for today. First, we are going to classify triangles by sides and angles. Sorry, this should be triangles, not angles. We're going to calculate an exterior angle involving, you're using the exterior angle theorem, and we're going to calculate an interior angle. So first thing is classifying a triangle. There's two ways to classify. We can classify by both sides and angles. There's three different side terms. Scalene refers to triangles that have no congruent sides. Isosceles has two sides that are congruent. And then equilateral is all three sides congruent. So I know you heard equilateral before, but isosceles and scalene may be new. And then classifying triangles by angles. An acute triangle has all three angles are acute. Remember that acute is between 0 and 90. A right triangle has one right angle. The other two are just acute. An obtuse triangle has one obtuse angle. And remember that's going to be 90 to 180. And then an equiangular triangle has all three angles congruent. So let's look at our first example. Okay, so we have this triangle on the left. And we'll notice we have three smaller triangles inside of, well, four really, inside of this big triangle. This, these two sides are congruent, this is congruent, this is congruent, so just based off of eyeballing, you should be able to tell that this is an equilateral triangle. All three sides are congruent. Looking at our angles, I can tell that all three are acute, so it's an acute triangle. Furthermore, it's an equiangular triangle, because all three angles are congruent as well. Okay, looking at the Bermuda Triangle, you should know the Bermuda Triangle, or I'm sure you've heard it before. It's this kind of spooky area where a lot of ships go missing uh, between Miami, Bermuda, and then San Juan. So Miami to Bermuda is 1,037 miles. Bermuda to San Juan is 965 miles. And then San Juan back to Miami is 1,033. We will notice none of these are the same, so this is a scalene triangle. And then just based off of eyeballing of the angles, that's all we can do, we can tell that this is an acute triangle, or it appears to be. It appears that all three of the angles are less than, uh, less than 90, less than 180. Okay, moving on to page 6. Example 2, it says classify the triangle with coordinates, and it gives us some coordinates. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch out this triangle. And I'm going to label it A, B, C. A is the point negative 2, 2. B is the point 4, comma 2. And then C is the point 1, comma 6. Okay, so first thing, in order to classify by sides, I need to know what my three sides are. So therefore, I need to do the distance formula. First, I'm going to do the distance from A to B. Remember, distance formula is the one with the square root, where I need to subtract. So I have 4 subtract negative 2 squared, and then I have 2 subtract 2 squared. So this is the square root of 6 squared plus 0 squared, because 2 subtract 2 is 0, which is the square root of 36. So AB is equal to 6. Okay, next I'm going to do BC. I'm going to do that here. Okay, so I have 4 subtract 1 squared, and then 2 subtract 6 squared. 4 subtract 1 is 3 squared. 2 subtract 6 is negative 4 squared. 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, so this becomes root 25. So BC then is 5. And then my last one is AC. Okay, so this is going to be negative 2 subtract 1 squared, and 2 subtract 6 squared. Negative 2 subtract 1 is negative 3 squared. 2 subtract 6 is negative 4 squared. 
So this ends up being root 25, which is 5 again. So again, this is 5. So I have sides of 5, 5, and 6. So classifying just by sides, this is an isosceles triangle. Um, it's isosceles because we have two sides that are congruent. And then it's also going to be an acute triangle. And we'll talk about that when you come to class. Okay, so one quick thing I want to talk about is the difference between interior and exterior angles. So if I draw myself this triangle, these three angles are interior. An exterior angle happens when you extend one of the sides. The angle formed is an exterior angle. So here this would be exterior, etc. And we're going to need that fact for the next two theorems we learn. So the first theorem is the triangle sum theorem. And this is a theorem that you've learned before. So the interior angles of a triangle sum to 180 degrees. Okay, sum to 180 degrees. So we have a few different examples here. Looking at A, it says for each of the following, find the value of x. Okay, well I know that if I add up the three angles of a triangle, it should sum to 180. So I have 48, add 62, add x equals 180. 48 add 62 is 110. Subtract 110. They get x equals 70 degrees. That's that. I'm finished. Um, I'm going to bet that you've seen that before. So B and C, we're going to leave for right now. Um, you try example three on your own, please. Okay, you should have noticed this 90 degree angle. So we have 90, add 2x, add x subtract 6, equals 180. 90 subtract 6 is 84, 2x add x is 3x, subtracting 84 I get 3x equals 96, dividing by 3 I end up with x equals 32. Okay, now to check my answer, I'm going to substitute it back in. 2 multiplied by x, so 2 multiplied by 32 is 64, and then x subtract 6, 32 subtract 6 would be 26. Now I can tell that 64 add 26 add 90 does equal 180, so I did get the right answer. But this leads us to our next corollary. The acute angles of a right triangle, triangle are, so what's true about these two angles? Well, they're both acute, yes, but it's also true that they are complementary. So if, if we have three angles that sum to 180, and one of them is 90, the other two have to sum to be 90. Okay, now moving on. Next we have the exterior angle theorem. And this one is a little, a little more difficult, a little more difficult to remember. The exterior angle theorem says that the exterior angle is the sum of the two non-adjacent interior angles. So we're looking at A. The exterior angle, 130, is equal to the sum of the two non-adjacent interiors. Okay, so 50 is the adjacent interior. It's right next to 130. So that's not the one that's included. We're talking about the other two interior angles. And sum means add. So I'm going to have x add, 4x add 10. Subtracting 10, I get 120 equals 5x, and then x equals 24. Okay, and I kind of skipped reading the directions. It says, for each of the following, find the value of x and the measure of any unknown angles. So I found x. Now I just need to substitute it back in. So this angle ends up being 24 degrees, and then my other angle ends up being 106 degrees. Okay, so we're going to do one more, and then 
one more together. We're going to do B together, and then you're going to do one on your own. Okay, so our exterior angle, this angle right here, so I have 5x add 12 equals, and then the non-adjacent interiors, 43 is the adjacent, so instead I'm talking about 70 and 67. So I have 5x add 12 equals 137. Subtracting 12, I get 5x equals 122. Sorry, my mistake. This should be this should be 125. And then dividing by 5, I get x equals 25. Okay, and then I just need to substitute back in real quick. Um, 5 multiplied by 25 add 12 is going to be 137 degrees. Right now, pause the video and try example 4 on your own, please. Okay, hopefully you had a chance to try this one. You should have gotten x equals 75. So, hopefully that went well for you. If not, go back and find your mistake. If you can't, we will answer any questions you have in class. Okay, so looking forward, we have one more example, and you have one to do on your own, and then we are finished. Okay, so example five uh, says triangle ABC has vertices, and it gives them. It says graph the triangle and classify it by its sides, and then determine if ABC is right. Okay, so A is 1, 9. So that's this point here. B is 4, 8. And C is 2, 5. Okay, so it looks like this is possibly isosceles, maybe scalene. Looks to be an acute triangle. I can't do it based off of what it looks like, though. I, I do have to actually do the distance formula. So, sorry, we're going to do the distance formula again. So, AB is 1 subtract 4 squared. And then 9 subtract 8 squared. 1 subtract 4 is negative 3 squared. 9 subtract 8 is 1 squared. So AB ends up being the square root of 3 squared is 9. Add 1 is going to be 10. And then I have to do BC. So I have 4 subtract 2 squared. Add 8 subtract 5 squared. 4 subtract 2 is 2 squared, 8 subtract 5 is going to be 3 squared. So BC ends up being the square root of 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, so this is root 13. My last one is AC, so I have 1 subtract 2 squared, add 9 subtract 5 squared, 1 subtract 2 is just 1 squared, 9 subtract 5 is 4 squared, so AC ends up being the square root of 17. Okay, all three sides are different, so this is a scalene triangle. And then determining if ABC is right, we will do that when you come to class. Okay, moving forward. Here's your last example. This is one for you to do on your own, and you need to bring this to class tomorrow, please.